beauty tips and magic tricks, all right here on Fashion Emergency. In style, we trust. I need help. Scary. Our first date. Boring. It's not me. Accessories, Prices. Please. I don't think so. No. No. Mini skirt. Not helping. That close. Too bizarre. I know. Perfect little black dress. So good. And then. Welcome to a very magical edition of Fashion Emergency. I'm Emmy coming to you from Abracadabra in the heart of Manhattan. Our first edition of Fashion Emergency today is about the magical Murphy twins, a pair of identical twins who perform magic. Now, these two young ladies have a very, very big evening in the improv and they really want to do the very best, so they want to look their best. So. Who better than sending Leon Hall out to Hollywood to help these twins out? As if Hi. by magic, the magic twins. Hello, ladies. I'm, I'm so impressed with what you do that I've been working on something from Africa, damn Dabra, but hey, I tried anyway. Now, obviously, my magic needs some help. Your clothes need some help. We're equal. I'm as good at that as you are at what you do. Let's go. Fantastic. So now you're having a problem, so I have to work my magic to solve your problem. Yes, yes. Your fashion magic. My fashion magic. Yes. Because you're making exactly. a special appearance. Yes, a very special appearance, yes. At the fast. improv. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hollywood. I'm impressed. Yes. Thank and you. And Freeman himself is going to introduce us. The owner and the founder of the improv. So it's us. quite an honor for us. And yes. girls have only been here like four months. Four months. Right. I'm pretty I'm impressed. From Fordham, Fordham University. University. So when you were little girls, your mother was clever enough not to dress you alike. Never. Never. She let you each be yourself. Yes. yes. That's how, probably how we got these different personalities was because we got to dress however we wanted, different, but it was always different. If it was the same dress, it would be different colors. Good. I, I approve of that. Yes. yes. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you, yes. that you're happy that I'm approving. Yes, you're the of fashion. Yes. You want to put your throne, Leon? Yes. <laughs> oh, God, I love this throne. <laughs> Great. Well, actually, Leon, you've been so great to make our wish come true that we are going to make your wish come true. Susan, not, really? Not that wish, Susan. Of course not. You found someone to pay my mortgage? <laughs> <laughs> well, not quite. But actually, we have a little napkin here. I'm going to tear a piece off. A paper napkin. I'll forgive you this one time. Yes. Okay. Would you just crumple it up, not too tight? Crumple it up, not too tight, like that. And place it in this little dish right I here. I will. And this is a, a what is called this a magic match. Okay. And I want you to think of a wish. I'll hold on to it. All right. Think of a wish and then blow it out. Now watch. Well, I'm so in... Wait a minute. Excuse me. This became a hundred dollar bill. Is that bill. what you wish for? Honey, I <laughs> wish for a 50,000, 50 of these. Can we just sit here and do this all day? Absolutely. Yes. Was close. <laughs> we we do this, we can buy name and Marcus. Yes. The three of us look like a triple and a fashion yes. show. We are. This is Peter Nygaard, and I love what he does because he just is so bold with color. And these are probably not colors that you've worn very much. No. These should always be tried on because I think almost everyone can wear this. My friend Brenda Cooper just loves this color, and so do I. This is in silk. I, I like the whole feeling that it's young, it, it's kind of edgy, mm -hmm. it's very, very chic. Now, Chinese laundry who does these shoes, they know what they're doing because they know that women really want to have fun. And that is one of the magic ingredients to fashion, fun, yes. having a good time, yes. and trying on more clothes. The most wonderful thing about being here at the Argyle, which is my favorite home away from home, is the dressing room is just bulging with clothes. How do you feel in this dress? Love it. Oh, this is from Paris. This is Louis Ferro. And I just think it's so beautiful. It's, it's just a simple piece of fabric on a beautiful girl. Cut, shaped, making it look very sexy with a bit of leg there and that hot pink shoe from Chinese laundry peeking out. This is Peter Nygaard. The wonderful shape of this neckline is just so flattering because it's just, you see this beautiful face, you see this beautiful neck, this little tiny beadwork, that little color of pink, all blue playing against this little metallic top. What's more elegant than a satin skirt? A little touch of decoration and, and embroidery there. The perfect little shoe from Chinese laundry. Two perfect ladies to wear it. Well, you know what? Whatever we put you in, it's going to be utter, sheer, twin magic. I don't think we have to let you people know, do you? You're going to have to watch out for the magic. But I think what we have to do is go to this great salon called Ganine, and they're going to work their magic fingers on you, and we're going to have new hair and new makeup. That's the last step. Let's go. Next up, hair and makeup at the Salon for the Stars, Gamine. 
James Julie. I love being a gamine. Great name for this salon because it's all about beautiful women, isn't it? Yes, it is. Great garden that people can sit and have coffee in their hair color. Well, obviously, we've begun the treatment because they've got funny little things between their toes. Yes, we started with a pedicure. We're going to work our way up. That's good because they're wearing sh shoes with open toes. Very, very necessary. So we're going to do cut, yes. we're going to do color, and we're going to do makeup. And then we're off to do our performance at the improv. I think I'll go have a drink at lunch. Do you believe in people doing that? If you're from California, you should. <laughs> My approach is to go through, soften the hair, make sure that they get a lot more volume out of their hair. The updo was my favorite part because James really picked up on our uh, personality differences. Nicholas is a fantastic makeup artist. We love what he did with our makeup because he knew we were wearing something a little more dressy and he was able to play that up and yet make us look so glamorous and so beautiful. You look absolutely beautiful. The two of you are amazing. Oh, you're amazing. Well, now, I made an executive decision in the middle of the night. I had my own little fashion emergency. I really like this top better. The two of you look more compatible. I do. Leon, you are the fashion god. We and worship at your own. own. And you're the goddesses. You can worship any time. <laughs> Julie, you and James and your staff are so terrific. I love spending the afternoon here. You did a great job. Now, how did we end up with this beautiful look? Well, we started with the feet. Katie did a pedicure. Give a fresh look on their feet. Went up to the hair. And Bernie and Amanda did highlights on them. And then James did a deuce and haircuts, and Nicholas did the makeup. And it's all beautiful. Don't you think it's perfect? They work their magic on you. Now it's time for you to go work your magic at the improv. You ready to go? Thank you so much, everybody. Come on, ladies. Let's go. Let's go. When we come back, the twins take the stage at LA's hot improv nightclub. <laughs> okay, you're Fair people stripping a little bit, so I have to... <laughs> Before she ever got physical, the voice was so beautiful. At the LA Improv, they asked our own Leon Hall to transform them from tame to torrid. With a few taps of his wardrobe wand and a little help from our friends at Gamine, Leon's got the girls ready to hit the stage. Can you believe, ladies, we are here at the Improv, the world-famous Improv that Bud Friedman made famous, and he's going to introduce you. Mm -hmm. I have made you look as good as I possibly can, and you look beautiful, but guess what? It's time to go in and wow that audience. Let's break a leg. Come on. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Bud Friedman. Thank, Thank you, you, Bud. We surprised Leon by picking him for one of our tricks up on stage. We asked him for one of his dollar bills, which we wrote down the serial numbers. And then we folded up in a scarf and made it disappear. One, two, three. Three, it has vanished, ladies and gentlemen, the disappearing dollar bill. Then we had him dig way down in a pickle jar, get a pickle, cut it open, and inside was his dollar bill with the matching serial number. Oh, get out of here. So, inside. There's something inside. It looks does it look like a dollar bill to you, Leon? It's a dollar bill. Let's see Don't if it's your tell. let's see no, if it's no, your no. dollar bill. <laughs> Five three. Brilliant. A. A. Thank you. Thank you, Leon. Thank you, Leon. Thank you. Bravo, oh, you did great. Absolutely. But didn't they do great? They did great. And when you get done with their fashion makeover, they're going to look terrific. But let, me, <laughs> let me tell you, I put them in Faro, I put them in Peter Nygaard, and I said, that's as good as I can do. Took them to the best hair and then brought them to you, the best oh. man about improv in the world. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you so Leon. much, Leon, and thank you, Fashion Emergency. We had, had a great, great time. time. Thank, thank you. you. But girls, great thank yous, but guess what? You have another show to do. Yes. The audience mm -hmm. is going to be waiting, brushing your makeup, yes. brushing your okay. hair. i got to dish the dirt with him. <laughs> Who is the worst person that ever worked for you had to put up well, who wouldn't want a pickle jar just like that one? Hey, Leon, you want to split the proceeds with Brenda and I, huh? <laughs> While Leon was sitting back enjoying the show at L.A. Improv, oh, Brenda was asked by a couple of Maryland magicians to cast her styling spell as well. <laughs> Lucky she had her wonderful coin, that magical penny that took her places and helped her do everything that they wanted her to do. This stuff really works. Bye-bye.